Well, the 1st of January has brought VAT to Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates for the first time. Gulf states have been heavily dependent on the export of oil and other natural resources. Now, that's worked well for years. But with oil prices falling and new economic challenges, they're now imposing a 5% tax on the majority of goods and services. VAT is a tax on consumption that applies to almost all traded goods. For decades, the UAE and Saudi Arabian economies have depended on selling fuel, but prices are falling. VAT will provide a new source of income as oil stocks and down, run down and prices slide. The collapse of oil prices has shrunk revenue and put pressure on Gulf governments, forcing them to find new forms of revenue quickly, including through taxation. Currently, the Saudi government only taxes expats on goods like tobacco, energy drinks and soft drinks. In the UAE, no personal taxes are levied. And as part of its drive to bolster state finances, Saudi Arabia will almost double the price of petrol. The price hike is part of the kingdom's efforts to reduce the amount it spends on state handouts and subsidies, but some are unhappy with the move. The increase in oil prices will affect people whose lives depend on using a car. On a normal day, I drive between 300 to 400 kilometers for work, so it will affect me strongly. We are with our government. What they decide, we accept. Their decision is for the benefit of the country. The money collected is to serve the people and to raise the country's status. So will the introduction of VAT make the Gulf countries less appealing to expats? Well, Mohammed Azhar is an associate professor of West Asian studies at the Aligarh Muslim University. He explains the reasons behind the new revenue-raising measures. The revenues, our revenues have declined because of the decline in the international oil prices. And this has affected the revenues available with this or the government. And so they have been making a lot of imposition. It has started with the imposition of the, of the charges on the utilities. Now you will be finding that the, the subsidies which were being given on the utilities, they have been gradually been removed. So it is in that process. And of course, then what happened, the family tax on the expatriate was imposed last year. It is all to make more and more revenues alternative revenues, and also now the VAT. VAT will be not only applicable to the expatriates, but to the local people also. But then what happens when the wage determinant determination takes place, the availability of the cheap, uh, cheap commodities there, a cheap lifestyle there, good lifestyle there, is one of the important determinants for the wage that a person going from India or Bangladesh, or Philippines, or Pakistan would like to, 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 to factorize in his wages. So for them, it may become unattractive 